Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, we finally get episode 1 of Cardfight Vanguard G, or, wow, wow, episode 1 of Cardfight Vanguard V, I am tired, so guys, this came out last night at some point, I guess, I didn't see it before I went to bed, but, we get to finally review episode 1 of V, it comes out Friday nights at midnight, or technically Saturday mornings at midnight, but I'm super, super excited to be reviewing this episode. It's been the long-awaited, and I have 10 minutes to record this and upload it, so let's get into it. So the episode starts off with a slow walk of someone very, very special, or Mr. Mis Mysterious, you know? I don't know good words. Then we get we see Kai jogging along here. Da 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 da. This ep this anime is just awesome. I already love it. And Kai and Aichi run into each other because typical Kai and Aichi things. They finally get their first encounter, their first romantic moment. I mean, um, their first manly moment, right? Am I am I right, guys? Ha, ha, oh god, what what am I doing? So they meet up, they have this weird effect thing. Uh, Kai asks Aichi if he wants to play Vanguard or if he's ever tried it. So they set up and... Yeah, they just sort of start getting ready to play Vanguard. Night time comes along and Aichi's like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta go home. T time to leave. Bye bye I'm scared and shy. Help me. He kind of says, yo, wait a minute. Well, doesn't say yo, but wait a sec. And he hands him Blasto Blade. By far, the most OP card in this game. No, not really. And he's trying to cheer Aichi up in every way possible, telling him to imagine himself as that unit, to be strong, and then that sort of ends the flashback. We get an intro with the awesome new um, logo from... Gift marks, that's what I was looking for. We also get the com confirmation that Ultra Rare will be there and probably playing because they didn't play it while she played in the first season. These two didn't, but these two also have cards, so hoping they get to play Corn, my sweet, sweet love. I mean, um, um, yeah, we're gonna move on from that now. We also have an image here, so I couldn't get a good screenshot of them. And unfortunately, this was probably the best one. Um, as you can see right here is Blaster Blade, but we also have the confirmation of Blaster Dark and his new look. So if you guys want to see him, go check out the intro to the new anime. Top notch. Truly perfect. Uh, moving right along. And then we get to see Aichi, Kai, and Ren in their different gift marks, which is interesting because these two have force gift marks so and i believe shadow paladin will also be in the force area so it's kind of interesting that our three main guys are force users um then we get you know the whole x amount of years later shtick so we get the backstory the flashbacks beforehand tai and miwa are walking around just chatting they go to Card Capital, which, if you guys don't know, this is not how Card Capital normally looks or looked in the first series. And I'm sorry if you can hear the beeping in the background. That's my smoke detector that's broken. But yeah, Card Capital did not look like this in the original series, so it's kind of interesting. It's just this slate building, very bland looking, not very appealing to the eye. We got our one and only Lord and Savior, Manager Cat, or Sub Manager. We got Mizaki, and then we get a nice close-up on the new art for Mizaki, looking fantastic Mizaki. Honestly, top-tier quality. 10 out of 10, would watch again. Probably, actually, I'm going to watch it in English as well, so top-tier. Um, Then we get, uh, what's his face? Um, Mori Morikawa, whatever. I am so dead. Um, He's fighting noobs. And then he fights Kai and loses, which is interesting because we see two grade threes here. This one has a gift mark of force. So, 
And then the gift zone is where the old G zone was it is like I assumed. Um, and then we get further driving that this story is more realistic because instead of opening the one or two packs like in the original show, Miwa is now just opening a box of packs, and he does this throughout the entire class. And we also get a nice reskin of the teacher. Uh, everyone just acknowledges that he loves trading card games in history, so. That's why they're all using trading card like stuff. Yeah, it they they just acknowledge that he's a nerd. That's okay. Moving along, Aichi embarrasses himself as he always does and refers to Blaster Blade for comfort because him and Blaster Blade are inseparable. And then he daydreams, which is nice because this is looks more realistic than the original daydream, which I thought just looked very clay animation like so they're just having a nice little battle actually this is about all we get to see of that fight and then yeah morikawa just starts beating the crap out of aichi just literally oh give me blaster blade or die so they show blow off blaster blade morikawa challenges kai to a fight with blaster blade and Miwa's like, oh, you gotta fight me first if you want to get to him. And then I think the next slide is the interesting slide. Look at what Miwa's using. Huh. Nova Grapplers. Heroes, to be exact. Is Miwa not gonna be a Kagero user? No! Actually, I'm really excited to see Miwa not be a Kagero user and not sit on the sidelines for the entire first season. Or second season. Yeah. Miwa literally sat on the sidelines for the first two seasons. So this will be kind of a nice change of pace. Um, Aichi comes in and... No. Aichi just comes like, give me back my card. And everyone says, like, who's he? And they sit down to have a card fight and that ends the episode. Literally, the next stuff we get is next week's episode. We don't get into the fight. Um... Kai did go over the basic rules, having four cards in the deck, drawing and redrawing, but that's all we got. We don't have an actual fight to review this week, which I'm really excited for next week, but disappointed for this week. But we do get a few looks at next week's. Um, that's about it. It was it was an awesome episode. The music at the end, the music throughout the entire episode that we had was just phenomenal. I have not been this excited for a card game in a long time, or card game anime, including Vanguard, for quite a bit. So I'm super excited to see how this story is going to progress. Unfortunately, I know how most fights are going to go just by looking at it because I've seen the first season. So unless they do a drastic overhaul to the story and a lot of fights, I really can see where his fights are. I'm really hoping they'll bring back some nostalgia from season one and make it really hard to predict the winner. Cause in season one, I felt like it was nice. Anyone could have won. There were some fights you could see the winner, but there were a lot that you couldn't. And that's what I want as I want more of these fights where I don't know the winner prior to the outcome. But I think I'm just going to end it here. Cause I got to upload this and head off to work. So guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Did you like episode one? Have you watched episode one? And please go watch it if you haven't yet. Um, overall, I'm super excited for this and I can't wait to start bringing these episodes back. It's been so long. Alright guys, until next time, I've been Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.